How's it going? Are you doing all right? Are you doing okay? Well, if not, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you a story, a story, a very good story, a very story, story, a story that has story elements in it that is not just a story that I'm making up as I record this story. Now, that would not be the type of story that I would record for you to relax on, okay? That is a made-up story and definitely not what we're doing in this video. So, time to tell you the story I just made up. There once was a giant, 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 giant. Now, this giant, 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 giant had a problem. He was too big for all the clothes that he was trying to buy. Now this giant, 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 giant was really into shoes. Now, if you know anything about shoes, you would know that they don't really come in a, a, a large variety of sizes, especially not the types of sizes that a giant, 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 giant would need in order to have a comfort. So what does this giant, 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 giant do? Well, he does what any giant, 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 giant does. He, well, he makes his own shoes. You might be asking yourself, a story about a giant, 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 giant that makes his own shoes. How did you know my life story? Well, listen. Every good self respecting writer these days, I just steal. Alright, I just steal. So, the giant, 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 giant put on his new, brand new, his brand new, his brand, brand, brand new shoes that he made himself. Remember that the giant, 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 giant made it. and ah. 
growls started coming out from the forest. The woodland creatures went, ooh, and ah, and, well, it's very silent because they, they mostly squeak. Um, but one very, 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 very fat rabbit came out of his burrow and said, that's just Fred. He moved in down store. The giant turns his head and looks over to Fred, who's waving at him, and says, Make your advances for your advances, Mr. Giant. The giant, 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 says, I don't trust you, Mr. Cougar. Why did you move in next to me with all these adorable creatures here? Aren't these creatures what you eat? And the cougar said, I'm actually a vegetarian. So, the giant paid no mind to that and decided to set up some defensive perimeters just in case any more cougars show up. Or even worse, a lion. Because if there's a lion in the woods, you know, you know you messed up. said he wasn't going to eat those very, very, very small, delectable animals. Now, as a fat rabbit, you know, the giant had thoughts himself. So he's like, you know, hey, I'm a giant, 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 giant. I could just, I could make this a private land if I wanted to. Then he winked to himself in the mirror. But he won't. As a giant, 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 giant I have sworn Fred now, too, even though he's very suspicious. So, the giant put on his footsies feetsies, and he went outside to secure the perimeter of their forest. And along his forest walk, putting up the fencing and spikes in the ground, he saw a butterfly. Now, this butterfly was really so he just kind of kept walking. But then he saw another butterfly who said to him, Hello, mister. The giant went, Yes, um, small flying creature thing. I like your fences. Now the giant was a little bit afraid of this because what would a butterfly want with his, well, his newly handmade shoes? I would like to offer you a very 
friends about what happened. He walked up into the middle of the road and said, Behold, I accidentally killed Fred. Now all the forest animals didn't, they knew it was an accidental. He was sus from the beginning and the giant did not like that. And they kind of just accepted it that this was actually likely to happen and we actually warned Fred and made him sign a uh, contract saying that if by any reason he meets an untimely demise uh, they get all of his things and of course the giant was not a part of this contract he wasn't a part of this contract so very quietly all the woodland creatures started to cheer but they made it seem like they were sad so the giant, 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 giant decided to dig a hole and bury Fred. While he went off doing that, the little creatures, the little, little creatures scurried into the center of town and cheered and went, We're rich, we're rich, we're rich. That giant, 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 giant had no idea how rich Fred was. He could have bought a hundred pairs of footsies for his feetsies with this money. But that's how the cookie crumbles. That's how Fred got footsies for his feetsies. Thank you, everyone, for joining me on another episode of Chris Makes Up a Random Story to Try and Make You Fall Asleep. That totally involves a giant killing a cougar. So, thank you very much. Uh, if you like what you heard, please subscribe, um, like, do all that nonsense, share this video with your friends. I don't care. I'm just glad you're here. I'm glad you're watching and I'm glad you're well. So I'll see you all on the next video.